instruct and teach you in the way you shall go, and I will guide you with my eyes. Psalm 32 8. So, welcome back and welcome if you're new here. In today's video, we're going to be doing our usual weekend resets that's prepping ourselves for the new week. Starting out with a Saturday cleanup, I'm going to be focusing on the TV screen. This is part of our cleaning routine that we also tend to neglect because it's right in front of us, but it's not there. The guest bathroom needed a touch of cleaning and as well as the boys bathroom so i'm gonna be doing a quick refresh and restock for both bathrooms when it comes to bathroom cleaning i don't have a specific time date or <laughs> routine for that i clean as i go in there i have chlorous wipes in all bathrooms so that makes it easier for me to clean whenever i go in there and i think it needs a quick refresh grab my gloves the wipes and i start wiping down and this habit has helped me maintain a clean bathroom unless i have to do like a deep in-depth cleaning whereby i have to dedicate a day or a weekend pull everything out of vacuum mop and have a very thorough cleaning done I've learned not to wait for my tasks to build up to maintain a clean space. I can't stress this enough. Clean as you go. Those little habits, those little touch-ups, they make a great impact when it comes to creating a clean space. Refreshing and restocking the boys' bathroom. At this very young age, I'm including and teaching them about hygiene so that as they get older, they can always implement whatever I've taught them into their personal life and space. And also encouraging and involving them into the whole cleaning routine especially on Saturdays they know Saturdays mommy cleans they always try to help out pick up after themselves make their bed and it gives me joy Then moving into the kitchen, I'm going to be giving the fridge a good wipe down. It needed that TLC, so that's what it's going to get. When it comes to cleaning my fridge, I go in first with the disinfectant wipes, then follow that up with the stainless steel wipes or cleaner. Same goes with all other appliances. Done with that part of cleaning, I'm gonna be doing some meal prep. I'm gonna be making my native stew and okra soup.
I remember watching my mom cut vegetables. Like she is a pro and excellent at doing that. And always getting excited at her cooking. And on Sundays growing up after church, heading back home and knowing that my mom is at home. Oh my God. We were always excited over the moon because she is at home making sure everything is taken care of and cooking the best meal ever. So once I'm done with meal prepping, what I do is divide my meal in two, some for the fridge and some for the freezer. So this saves me time and energy cooking during the week, especially when the boys get back to school or when I have my classes. Done with cooking, so I'm gonna take some breaks, relax, get myself ready to do my um, kitchen reset, nighttime kitchen reset. I usually do this, I always do this at night because everyone is asleep, it's quiet, it's like a zen moment for me. And listen to podcasts that actually and really feed my soul. I've been loving the Balanced Black Girl and also Beneath the Sims here on YouTube. So from here on out, it's going to be cleaning and I'm going to be playing some songs while doing that. So grab your stuff, so let's get this cleaning motivation going.
come with the kitchen reset, putting things back to where they belong. And it's the next day, I'm part of my routine, prepped and cleaned my fruits and veggies, going to do some breast dogs. And this mama right here is ready for the new week. And that's it guys for this weekend research routine. I know the kids are going to be getting back to school in no time and I can't wait to share my routine. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it gave you the motivation you needed. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more.